thinking, Katie. What? We still don't know who makes the best slime. You or me. That's true. Should we make another challenge? Yes. I'll call the teacher. Oh. Hello. Hi, Miss Teacher. It's Sara here, your favorite student. Why are you calling me on a Sunday? I have a favor to ask you. Me and Katie would like to have another slime competition and we want you to be the judge. Please. Uh, well, last time was way too much for me. Oh, please, Miss Teacher. We promise we won't do anything crazy this time. All right, all right. I'm on my yes. way. Thank you, Miss Teacher. Are you ready for the party like never before? about that. What would teacher consider as beautiful? Well, I think we can't go wrong with a super girly princessy slime. We're talking pink confetti, pearly sparkles and glitter. Let's mix all this goodness in a clear slime. If you want to know how to make a clear slime like this, check out the first episode of Mixing Weird Ingredients in Slime, which is linked in the description box. This slime looks so beautiful already. We've added purple, pink and blue tiny dots, lots of shiny pearl glitter, light pink hearts and little stars. And why not adding a portion of pearly stars as well? Time to roll up the sleeves and mix all these gorgeous particles in our clear slime. Whoa, this looks amazing! Plus feels so satisfying and crunchy. You guessed it, we have another huge glitter and confetti portion to add in here. Let's fold everything in and create the most beautiful slime the teacher has ever seen. How beautiful and sparkly it is, right? You know what this slime reminds me of? It reminds me of a princess dress. Probably because it looks so dainty, girly, pastel and shiny. Hopefully the teacher will be as impressed as I am. How beautiful is this? The teacher will love it for sure. This is way too basic. Wait until you see mine. You're just jealous. Which pigment should we choose for next slime? Let's go for the green one. Pop about a teaspoon of this potent green dust on some clear slime. Ooh, I bet this is gonna look phenomenal. Let's roll up the sleeves and mix it all in. Mixing pigments into slime is so satisfying. You can see it transforming into something magical right in front of your eyes. This pigment has such a cool duochrome effect. When the light hits the slime at certain angle, you can see a golden reflection. To enhance the golden details of our slime, let's go ahead and add a bunch of golden leaf foil. This will make the slime even more interesting. Mixing leaf foil in slime is just something else. It's completely addicting watching this sparkly foil break down into a million little pieces of different shapes and sizes. I could literally watch this for hours without getting bored. It's so mind-blowing and mesmerizing. I love how this slime keeps the amazing texture even though we've added so many ingredients into it. It's still super smooth, stretchy and fun to play with, but at the same time looks totally gorgeous and unique. It will be so interesting to see how teacher reacts to both the princessy slime and this golden emerald beauty. Both are beautiful, but let's find out which one will take the throne. You love it, right? No, the color is ugly. You wish. All right, ladies, it's up to me to decide about that. So who's gonna be first? Me? Go ahead. What? Oh my gosh! This is really gorgeous! The texture is also very nice! I'm impressed! It's a nine! Your turn, Katie! Show me your masterpiece! It's a masterpiece indeed! Wow. Now this is next level! This golden green duochrome effect and the golden specks! I love it! Oh, thank you, thank you! This is just Perfect! It's a 10! Yes! Woohoo! You started strong, ladies! Next team is Fantasy Clouds! 
Fantasy Cloud reminds me of something soft and fluffy, so we're gonna try to make a slime with these features. Let's start by whizzing up a classic fluffy slime. You can watch the full process of me trying to make this slime for the first time ever on my second channel. The video is linked in the info bar below. Making slime for the first time was quite a challenge, but in the end, I feel like I did pretty well. This lovely fluffy blue slime is what I ended up with. To give it a cloudy vibe like teacher requested, I decided to mix in a lot of fake snow. It is white and super light, so I'm guessing that it should give our slime the consistency that we're looking for. Enough talking, let's get down to business and bring on a ton of snow. So nice, the winter has arrived in our slime world. Time to get messy and mix it all in. This is so fun, I love playing with real snow in the winter and I must admit this fake alternative is not too bad either. It mixes in the slime very nicely and gives it a special 3D texture. We're adding too many ingredients in the slimes today, so I think we need more snow. Yup, bring on another batch. It kind of feels like I'm mixing coconut in a blue cookie dough. <laughs> this slime is getting pretty hard, but I still find it very satisfying. All we can do is keep our fingers crossed and hope the teacher thinks the same. What is this? That's not your business. White puffy clouds look like giant clusters of yeah. cotton balls to me. So let's try and make a fantasy cloud slime by mixing a lot of cotton balls in the white slime. And this slime is so interesting. One would expect that cotton balls would kind of degrade and mix up well in the slime. However, no matter how much you need it, the cute balls of fluff just keep holding their shape. They kind of look like ice cream scoops covered with white glaze. This is definitely super surprising and not really what we envisioned with this slime. The cotton balls are holding their shape no matter how how much we try to work them in. It is still pretty cool and interesting to play with though. Time for the teacher to decide which one of these two slimes feels more like a fantasy cloud. The fake snow blue one or this pastel cotton ball creation. Let's find out together. You were laughing to me and then you come up with this? You are not funny. <laughs> Sara, you seem confident. Let me check your fantasy cloud slime. Yes. What on earth? Yeah. This is no. so hard! Is this your idea of fantasy yeah. cloud? Yeah. Oh, miss. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. I can only give two for this. Just two? Well, it's terrible. <coughs> Katie, it's your turn. Yes, miss. I am lost for words. You girls obviously have no idea what a cloud is. <gasps> this is absolute nonsense. You get one point for effort. Seems like you both have 11 points so far, so the last match will give us the winner. The theme is creative. Surprise me, give me something different. Count on me, miss, I'll give you just that. Pour a bottle of white school glue in a mixing bowl. Time to activate this baby up. Pour the activator in the glue bit by bit and mix well. Continue adding more activator and mixing until the glue starts turning into slime. Now it's time to roll up the sleeves and take the snow white creation in our hands. Knead the slime a little bit to bring it together plus Whoa. make it soft and smooth. White slime is like a blank canvas yeah. and you can do so many creative things with it. Today we're gonna mix in lots and lots of soft clay. I decided to roll a piece of clay between my hands to get a thin long strip like this. On the slime you go, followed by many more clay bodies. We're adding too many ingredients to slime after all. I decided to go for two shades of clay only, blue and pink. If you mix together too many different colors, a big chance is that you will end up with a brownish slime, which to be honest is not my favorite. No offense brown color, you're cool, but just not what we're trying to achieve here. <laughs> when mixing blue and pink on the other hand, we get a lovely purpley blue shade, which I love. Mixing soft clay into slime is so extremely satisfying and I just love watching the transformation process from glossy white slime to pink and blue marble slime and lastly a completely matte solid purple slime. The texture is so amazing as well, super soft, smooth, but at the same time holds the shape really well. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one, definitely one of the most satisfying slimes I've ever played with. Oh look, Katie has a new hairstyle. Wait, what? 
What is she doing? Remember last time when Katie mixed nails into the slime? We should have known by now that when it comes to weird creativity, she really knows how to deliver. <laughs> so let's see what happens when we mix a ton of hair into the clear slime. Whoa, this looks very cool. The rainbow color of the hair really makes this an epic and interesting slime, don't you think? Although we have to admit that this clear slime isn't very sticky, so it's a bit difficult to mix the hair in. With a super sticky clear slime, I think this rainbow hair experiment would look even more insane and epic. But it's still very cool and unique, so let's present this hairy rainbow masterpiece to the teacher. It's time to find out once and for all who makes the best slime, Sarah or Katie. Whoa! What happened to your hair? Oh, Katie! You have a new hairstyle! Nice! Oh my gosh, it's horrendous. Thank you, miss! So we are finally ready to get a winner. Sarah, should we begin with you? Very mm -hmm. interesting awesome. texture, quite buttery. I like it. It's really nice, but I have seen better slimes, so seven. Ooh. Your turn, Katie. Here it is. Ooh, I never seen something like this in my life. This is very creative. And I love how you even dyed your hair to match with the slime. You know me, wow, I love makeup, sweet. hair, and all the beauty things. So your score is... You really went that extra mile. So I have to give you eight for the effort. Yes! The total score for Sara is 18 and for Katie is 19, which gives us the winner, Katie! as well this time but what would you say who do you think made the best slime today let us know in the comments are you team sara or team katie thank you for watching our funny adventures and we'll be back very soon bye